Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf back in the tour van here at Second Swing Minnetonka, joined by Michael Geiger for another head-to-head -head iron comparison. Today, Callaway Apex Pro 2024 series versus the Titleist T150. And I think, Michael, both of these irons kind of in that category where a player may maybe wants something kind of compact or um, lean to look at, but then they also want a little bit of a kind of jump in distance, still want, don't want to lose that ball speed. Absolutely. Know. I think this is a, a huge, these are irons that really encompass a wide range of players yeah. because you might say kind of that upper single digit handicap, maybe looking at this for potentially the entire set, mm -hmm. but you look at higher handicaps that might be looking at this thing in the short irons and you look at lower handicaps, the better players that may be looking at, you know, say the T150 or the Apex Pro for kind of three, four, five irons. Mm -hmm. So really there's not too many players that this video isn't relevant. Right, I think we've also noticed that the Apex Pro models over the past couple of generations from Callaway have been among the hottest sort of in the player's cavity mm -hmm. category out there. Um, and I think this one even to me, just by looking at it, seems like it's built for even more distance. Yeah. A little bit kind of of a little thicker design versus some of the past ones that they've had. Uh, so I'm very curious to, to know where this line, and, and I know, I mean, the T150 has been awesome so far in fittings. It's been a lot of kind of hype around the Callaway Apex series here as well. Yep. And so it's a really a great time right now. It's kind of the end of 2023 golf, at least for us here, as we film this in the beginning stages of September in Minnesota, right? right. So we don't have that much golf left, but I know with golf picking up in the South here, it's kind of the busy season now. You've gone to Arizona or maybe Florida and all those residents are really trying to pick up their golf game now. This is a great time to think about a Titleist or a Callaway iron set with these new lines here. And both of these are going to be big winners, I think. I think so. This is really going to be a fascinating matchup. These are two of the, the trendiest irons in golf. You see, you know, mm -hmm. this category is really marked by irons that really promote feel and distance. Mm -hmm. You know, just knowing kind of what we're working with going in, I expect the Callaway to be a bit more towards kind of the distance side and the title is to be a bit more towards the feel side, mm -hmm. but we'll see what the numbers show. Yep, we got the Project X LZ 6.5 in both for you, Michael. Yep. Uh, standard length and lie and all of those key fitting ingredients here. So uh, let's hit a few shots with each. Let's do it. Pretty good start right off the bat there. T150. Yeah. Touch of a pull, but, but pretty solid. I think most players would take that. I certainly would. So, that one that sounded pretty good, at least. Oh yeah. There's kind of that baby fade. I know you like to work a little bit. Yeah. So talk to me about you know first couple shots there. T150 just kind of rehash the look and feel sure. so far. No, it, it's hard not to bring kind of your your pre-existing biases into these tests, and, and I'm a big fan of the T150. I think it's it's a it's like all Titleist clubs. It's beautiful looking. Yeah. It's beautiful feeling. Um, you know, there's a little bit of extra top line, a little bit of extra kind of help you see around the, the perimeter, but it's still, it's, it's gorgeous to look at. And you just it really inspires confidence in, in all players, really. Yeah. It, it's just, uh, it's a really fun club to swing. Nice, nice, yeah. Interesting, a little bit out to the right. Yep, but, face you know, opened up. I will say, I think the your kind of ball speed and spin, those numbers have been pretty consistent Very throughout consistent. here so yep. far. Which especially when you when you square it up and maybe get it starting left, yeah. those numbers can tend to jump a little oh, bit. Oh, I then... believe me, I've <laughs> had those issues before. Slight miss there maybe? Yes, sir. It actually didn't really lose a ton there. Spin was pretty consistent, a little yeah. bit higher maybe, but. Yep. That was hit really well too, huh? Better. Yep. See that height climb okay. a bit. Let's get one more here. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll take the best five of six from each club. Wow, that There's was There's a bit mashed. of a pull. Let's see, might, we'll see where the distance goes. Okay. There's what the, that's what happens when you pull it, but hey, you smoked it. I mean, I've had one four one smash on a 30, 32 degree seven iron. It's pretty impressive. <clears throat> So let's see here, the best five of six. And actually, it's almost like both of these are, have, have a merit to being the outlier, if you will. We'll take this one out here though. Um, so five of six, and here's our averages. So a one, three, six smash, which is really, really good. 5702 spin, 190, or excuse me, 184.8 on the carry, 194 total. Um, your thoughts there, Michael? I think that last one you really smoked, which might even skew things a little bit more, just for fun, I actually kind of want to 
take that out sure. and we could see, you know, again, how consistent that becomes, right? That 1.8 carry, 1.2 total is pretty nuts. Yeah, anytime you can get kind of the, the margin of error less than half a club with, yeah. those, with those distance numbers, that's impressive. But, you know, just like you said, the, uh, the spin rate is just so consistent. Mm -hmm. um, even throwing in that one that, that jumped yeah, up a little Yeah, you still hot. keep it under 200 on the deviation ball, number, which Right, is awesome. ball speed plus or minus three miles an hour. It's, it's just a really consistent club, <laughs> yep. given that it's both beautiful and really an excellent feeling iron. Sure. And then uh, I will just quickly bring up the dispersion map here. Here's what that looks like. Um, so you got to have this sort of 190-ish on the total. I guess yep. I can bring up the carry one here. And it comes a little bit more kind of what you're looking at, right? Yep. Carry distance though you got right here. Even going left to right, it still is pretty consistent there. Um, and then one thing too, I'm going to give you the Apex Pro just to kind of yeah. give me now as we kind of transition to that club. Give me what you see differences in appearance there. Right. So the Apex Pro, you know, we talk about the T150 as it relates to the T100 being just everything just a little bit bigger. Yeah. The Apex Pro is almost, it's almost like a T175. Oh, it, it is. It's, okay. It's okay. just everything. Even a little bit bigger than the T100. Just T150. a little bit. And it's, again, uh, an iron shape that is not going to alienate, you know, a player's yeah. type of, you know, golfer. Um, but it's just, everything is just a little bit more confidence sure. inspiring. Sure, sure. It wasn't that bad. Interesting. How was the strike on that one? Little, little miss off. hit. Okay. You see the smash, you know, one, two, six, not ideal. Um, it's a little low on the face? A little low, yeah. Okay. But, you know, in terms of dispersion, I mean, the not too bad. Right. Ooh. Kind of a similar shot. Was it a little low again? Again, okay. yeah. Been waiting for that. Because I remember the Apex Pro of 21 or 19, one of them was definitely louder than kind of its competitors. Yep. Even though it was probably the hottest and the farthest and it was really a lot of performance. Right. The, the sound was just a little bit loud. Okay, that one was smashed. So that was hit pretty well, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, so that was a lot softer sounding than I, than I, envisioned I guess for sure. this club you know because you mentioned it's already bigger and I mentioned you know the past model was a little bit on the louder side but yeah that was to me it sounded really soft no that's always the line that that these types of irons have to walk um mm -hmm. is is you know adding distance without you know right raw, you know turning it into a hollow body player exactly. this iron and it's it's very encouraging to, to hear that uh that lack of sound another one that was crushed That baby fade is there. Yeah. You're right at around, around 100 feet with that thing when you hit it good. Exactly. So actually, we should note, this club is 33 degrees. So it's actually a little bit, it's one degree higher in loft than the right. 250. So um, take that into consideration here. It might be, because I'm actually seeing lower spin mm -hmm. and more distance with this club than the T150, which was kind of a little bit backwards. How was that strike? A pretty, tiny bit? Pretty yeah. reasonable miss hit there. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, I mean, it looks like you maybe slightly missed it, but nothing like crazy. I'm going to see how many. We got one more here. Let's go one more. Okay. Another good one. Decent. All right. Well, I'm going to look here. I think we actually might, what I might do is just do best four of six sure. because we've got kind of basically four consistent ones with each, right? So I can take out these and these. And that way there's four kind of good ones with each club that are telling the story the best, if you will. Right. Um, so here's kind of what we come up with, right? I see right off the bat, Actually, I'm kind of surprised how efficient the T150 was for you, and that's even taking out a 141 that you had. Um, the Apex Pro at 132 on average, um, a little bit more of a deviation on the spin there. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I mean, talk about what you, what else you saw or felt with these with these irons here. Yeah, I would say um, in terms of the feel, I think the T150, you know, honestly, it lines up sort of what we talked about in the beginning. I think feel the edge goes to the t150 i think yeah. the the apex pro felt just a hair more forgiving you know those mm -hmm. as you can see 
not the most efficient swings. Yeah. Um, but the, I felt like you just got a bit more out of it. Yeah. Um, relative to the the strike, so. But you know, for both clubs, you know, reasonably consistent spin rate. I think the T150 a little mm-hmm. more consistent in that in that arena. But um, and again, the dispersion not not too bad. Yeah, either. yeah. I think there's my kind of two cents looking at this is there's probably some p- more potential distance out there with the Apex Pro, and I say that because um, you were still hitting the ball carry distance relatively similar on average. Right. Um, but you just had a little bit more consistency with T150 in the strike. Yeah. So that was kind of my takeaway there obviously very consistent with the t150 there um and then if you get the pro on the right loft if we were to do them loft versus loft 32 32 i think you'd see the apex pro jump up in distance and a little bit more launch as well and that thing would be a little bit more explosive i think absolutely so um but both really good irons t150 and apex pro um both will be awesome in fittings i think is sort of the conclusion that we're we're coming up to here right michael there are no losers in this test. Right, right, exactly. So it depends on what you want. A little bit more distance, a little more pop with your sort of player's cavity iron, Apex Pro, but the T150 is right there, more consistent, um, and a really good performer for you as well. So uh, the only way to really know which one is right for you, obviously, is go get fit. So uh, make sure you schedule that fitting with the Tour Van um, fitter here at Second Swing. But thanks again, Michael, for the test today. Really good stuff here. It was a pleasure.